my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do some knockout text and we're going to put it onto a lantern and then we're going to frost the lantern. Uh, so I've already done my font, so I've chosen the font Impact. It's a really good font to do uh, knockout text with and it's already a preloaded system font on Windows. Uh, so I've already done this and I've changed the colour of my text. So now I'm going to go into images and I've already looked uh, for witches and I found one down here that I quite like. Now it's multi-layered, uh, which is fine because we're going to remove all the other layers. So we're just left with the base layers. So I'm going to go in and delete each layer. So that we're just left with our two base layers and then I'm going to get rid of the grey one. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and start positioning my witch where I want her. Uh, and it's really important that you make sure that your image is in front of your text. So I'm happy with her position so I'm going to highlight both and I'm going to go to slice. We then have our four layers, so our top layer we're going to change the colour on, we'll just go with a purple, and then we have our second layer which is the, the text layer, uh, so we're then going to go in and remove our third and our fourth layers, so you just click on them and press delete, so then we're just left with our two coloured layers, so I'm going to highlight both again, and I'm going to go to group, and then I'm just going to change my size, so it needs to be 3 inches across. And then we're going to go to make it. So we've got both our layers here now. So I'm going to go to continue. And we're going to go ahead and cut. So we've weeded both parts of our knockout text now. So I've got some transfer tape here. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer the orange piece first because that's our first layer. So as always we start at the front and we're just going to give it a really really good scrape. And then I always move on to the back and do it from the back as well. So I've now scraped that so I'm just going to start peeling back and as always I try and keep it so it's as close to the transfer tape as possible. And we're just going to slowly wiggle it back. And that's our first piece transferred. So we've now um, transferred our, we put our transfer tape onto our glass lantern. And before we did that, uh, I wiped it with some alcohol first, not proper alcohol. Um, far too precious to waste. Uh, so I'm just going to go and give it a really good scrape and make sure that it all adheres. There we go. So then I'm just going to very, very slowly start pulling back. And as always, if a small piece comes up, then we're just going to lay our tape back down and re scrape it. But we seem to be doing okay. So now we're going to go ahead and do our second piece. So now I'm just going to get my scraper and again give it a good scrape. So then we're just going to go in and pull back nice and gentle. So we've got a bit of pull up there so we're just going to go straight back in. And it obviously needs a good old there we go that's better and 
So I'm just going to place that back on the sheet because it's reusable so we always try and reuse it as much as we can. So that's the first part done. So we've actually done our knockout text uh, in vinyl, uh, we've layered it and we've done it on top of our lantern. So now we're going to frost our lantern. So I've decided before I frost my lantern that I'd like some spider webs to go on it. So I'm just going to go into images and I've just typed web and I'm just going to go because I'm going to put them in the corner. So I'm just going to go for this one here, nice and simple and easy. I'm going to insert image and I need to change the width to one inch and then I want to duplicate it. And I also want to flip it horizontally because they're going to go either side of the lantern. The grey layers are hidden so we don't need to do anything about those. So then we're going to go to make it. And I'm going to go ahead and cut. So I've now uh, put my cobwebs on. So I've got some of this rust-oleum frosted glass which is just from Wilco's uh, you need to give it a really really good shake for about a minute uh, for the first time use and then every time after you use it you want to give it a really really good shake as well please please do make sure that you are using it in a well ventilated area this stuff absolutely stinks um, it will give you a headache, it will make you feel sick, so please do make sure that you are well ventilated, preferably outside or you've got windows and doors open. So you want to hold it about 30 centimetres away from the glass and you're just going to give it a really even quick coat. Just like that. And we're going to leave that to dry for a few minutes and then we're going to go in with a second coat. You can see that we've got a pretty good frost on there but we're going to go in with a second coat. So I'm just going to give this a really good shake. Oh, bit of fluff, we don't want that. So we're going to leave that to dry again for a few minutes. So this is now our finished product and I will put some photos uh, in a minute up of what it looks like in the dark with the light on. But you can see that I've gone through and sprayed all the glass. So it looks really beautiful when it's lit up. Uh, so we've used our knockout uh, text uh, and we've also frosted our glass. So I think that's going to be really gorgeous on Halloween night. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Uh, any comments, please do leave below. Um, I'm going to finish the video with uh, some pictures of the lantern all lit up. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. Bye. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.